conference on Greenville and Lovers. So we're at the very, very north end of sort of the lower Greenville area and just east of the SMU area in 75. Our direct community is extremely diverse, lots of young folks, lots of young families. We do have good access to public transportation, I take the dart every day from the Lovers Station. There's a pretty good amount of bars and restaurants, both uh, recognizable ones and hole-in-the-wall ones nearby. It's not particularly pedestrian friendly. There's uh, some big streets, Greenville and Lovers, that make it pretty scary to bike and walk many places. But um, we're pretty easily accessible to White Rock Lake, to downtown, and if need be, to visit my parents. We can go up to North Dallas too. <laughs> so we're kind of located just uh, maybe half a mile or a mile or so north of the lower Greenville area strip of lots of restaurants and bars that's really been revitalized recently and then we're maybe a mile or less uh, let's see east of SMU on the other side of 75 so those would be some recognizable spaces. I would definitely want to improve the walkability of our neighborhood. I mentioned we have a lot of great spaces to visit. We've got nice access to White Rock Lake, to the Dark Light Rail Station, um, to lots of bars and restaurants. However, crossing or walking down Lovers Lane, Greenville Avenue, Skillman, um, with the dog, with the bicycle, with the stroller, is treacherous and uncomfortable. So creating spaces for folks to walk or bike from the village apartments to some of the great surrounding areas would really be an asset for the neighborhood. Well, I work for the Dallas Arts District, so obviously my other favorite neighborhood would be the Dallas Arts District. Um, I think that's a neighborhood that has really wonderful access to public transportation, um, improving constantly on connectivity to the surrounding neighborhoods of Uptown, Downtown, and Deep Ellum, and then of course the high concentration of beautiful spaces, architecturally green spaces like Savens Park and Benjamin Marcus Park and of course Hydeborn Park and then the, the free activities, the free cultural activities, Dallas Museum of Art, free everyday, pro collection of Asian art, free concerts every Thursday and, and events throughout the year. I gotta put in a little plug for the Arts District there. <laughs> we work pretty closely with Downtown Dallas Inc. and the Arts District is actually in the beginning stages of discussing our planning for the next few decades. So 360 is a really big part of what we're envisioning for our future for our neighborhood as well.